this is probably going to be like the most interesting election ever. Like this is probably going to be the most interesting election ever. I just I thought we had hella interest, interesting elections with even Trump being elected, Obama being elected, like historical, you know, first black president. I thought that was like super monumental. But I think this election right here is about to be really, really interesting. And I normally don't talk about politics. I don't like to get into politics. But I feel like the dynamic has changed a lot now that Joe Biden has dropped out of the race officially. Like, this is about to be super interesting. And the reason why I even bring it up, like, why do you even talk about politics? Like, I'm a whole therapist. I'm not a politician. I'm not I'm in mental health, right? You have to understand that even with these transitions and things going on, I feel like our mental state as just as a country isn't isn't balanced right now. Like, I feel like we're so anxious right now because this whole switch and things going on, like whether if you were Republican, whether if you're voting for Trump, whether if you're voting for Biden, if you're Democrat, whatever it is, like this, this has been like crazy to say the least. Like our mental health, I feel like is being super impacted by all these changes and, you know, Trump getting shot and, you know, Joe Biden and wonder what's going on with him. And, you know, um, you know, I know there's like a sense of relief now, you know, with the Democratic Party that, you know, Kamala Harris um, is going to be running for president, which I, I feel like is super dope. I feel like that's, you know, very transformative. And, you know, she has a strong possibility to win. You know, she has a very strong possibility to win. Um, I just, I just, it's more so, man, like politics and our mental health, like, I don't feel like we talk about that a lot, you know, because sometimes we as people, we feel helpless in things. We don't, we don't feel too empowered to do things. We don't feel like, you know, our feelings matter or things, our things are going to be taken into account. So sometimes when it comes to politicians, especially like if somebody you're, you're voting for and they don't get voted, you know, somebody you voted for, advocated for, and they don't get picked, you know, I remember when, you know, Trump got elected and I remember just with within my community, there was like this whole, you know, whole aura of sadness. Like, oh man, like what what do we do? What do we do now? You know, and like the agenda was to get Trump out of office because, you know, because it wasn't it wasn't a good feeling within the community. It wasn't it didn't it wasn't really embracing, you know. But you know, on the other side, when Obama got elected, you know, I remember you know it being just like a, a fiasco. Like it was a party. I remember. That election was over. We heard, we was like, oh, like we up, like we own, like, you know. Um, so, and I say all that to say because when we're talking about somebody being a leader, somebody to lead us to, you know, betterment and the advancement of our own country, sometimes, you know, that impacts our mental health because we have a lot of uncertainty. We have a lot of uncertainty right now as a nation. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know, you know, if president's going to get shot at again. We don't know if, um, you know, Joe Biden's state of mind, where that's at. We don't, we just don't know right now, you know? And when we talk about things that we don't know, what happens is that creates a lot of anxiety, you know? As a country, I do feel like we're very anxious. I was looking at tweets. I was looking at um, feeds on Instagram and all that. And I'm like, yeah, we're super anxious right now because we don't know what's going to happen. You know, we really don't know what's going to happen Many times when it comes to politicians, all we can really do for is just hope for the best. You know, sometimes we can only hope for the best and, you know, utilize our, our right to vote, you know, and hope that the person we voted for gets the most amount of votes. Um, when we do talk about these things, I think it is important to recognize, you know, who has certain policies in play that will advance the country, who has certain policies in play that will benefit all citizens and all people in the United States, all people, you know, maybe even people who are trying to become citizens of the United States. Like who, who can, who's this all going to benefit? Because we do have a lot of power in the world as well too, you know? And I know a lot of folks are talking about jumping ship, talk about going move to another country. And again, that's a, that's a response to anxiety. And I even had that thought myself. I was like, you know what, this is kind of ghetto right now. Like I'm trying to, you know, go somewhere that's a lot more peaceful, but you know, I think one other thing, too, is understanding. I'm like, one thing I'm understanding, too, even just with this whole political thing and trying to manage my own anxiety is, what is it that I can do versus what I can't do? 
you know, I can try to go out to vote. I can try to advocate for, you know, what I feel like may be right in uh, in the realms of what may be beneficial to me and my community and the people around me. Um, I can do those things. You know, I was even earlier, like, just to be completely honest, I was like, man, I don't know which way. I'm kind of still like, uh, I don't know. I'm still debating. I'm not as of right now, but I was debating, I should say, like, who should I vote for? <laughs> you know, like, who should I really vote for? Because I'm kind of unsure of like what folks are really advocating for. Like what's what's the political agenda? Because I feel like right now we're in a state of hiding. It's like, okay, we're just gonna try to vote for, you know, who we can right now, you know, or who we feel like is, is a good fit, which isn't a bad thing. But sometimes we need to really look at like what are folks really advocating for? What are folks, what's the agenda people are trying to push with this election, you know? I know there's a lot of talk around this whole, I don't know if it's Project 2025 or whatever that is. I didn't, I'm not really versed on all that, but there are some conspiracies on like a certain agenda as you know, a lot of political events may lead up to a, a specific agenda, you know? But in order to manage our anxieties, you know, we have to focus on what we can do versus what we can't do. And until Jesus Christ is on, <laughs> it's on the ballot, you know, who, who's to really say if they're going to really be in our favor? The best thing we can try to do is just man, trying to manage our anxiety the best way we can. You know, trying to talk to somebody, get some support. Don't be too, too alarmed with this. Again, it, it is exciting news that um, uh, we have our potential, you know, our potential um, woman president that has a strong potential to win for sure. You know, and we're going we gonna to see what happens. I'm not going to put this out there and, you know, say who who's going to win and who's not going to win but you know i think i think it's going to be a good one i think again this is going to be a historical race i think this is going to be a good one for the books we're short on time usually like i don't know if there's been a switch of transition like you know i know with vice presidents and things of that nature has been switch of um switch ups before but with the actual presidential candidate i never heard of a presidential candidate dropping out you know close to about three and a half months prior to like the election day I never heard of that, but we're going to see what happens. And, you know, hopefully the this doesn't impact people too, too much. And people are still able to make a sound and sane decision based on, you know, their party or based on like what they feel like would benefit the country or things of that nature. But, you know, we I mean, it, history could be made and or history can be repeated. I think that's what's going to boil down to is history can be made, but also it's, it may it, it can also be repeated. So. Um, I just want to touch on that for a bit, man. I, again, I'm not a really political dude, but I do feel like as a country, we are anxious as heck and we don't know what's going to happen. There's a lot of fear, you know, a lot of uncertainty. But, you know, I feel like, I feel as if we can, the best thing we can do is focus on what we can control. You know, we can't control everything, but we can control our mental health and we can try our best to try to stay as calm and in solitude as, as, as we can. I appreciate y'all for tapping in. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Until next time, y'all take care. Peace.